We're going to do that as a management fraud as part of our audit engagement. We realize it's going to cost more. We're going to have to change what we do a little bit, but we do accept that. I mean, you're holding us responsible for it anyway. Um, it'll cost you more, but we're going to make that a major purpose of the engagement. I think that's what the public expects anyway. They had absolutely no idea that I was committing a fraud because that wasn't their job. And the Senate didn't say, and the AICPA says, yeah, you should look for a few things, but their primary focus isn't looking for a fraud. What should every accountant know about fraud? First, it's committed by desperate people with large egos. Second, the schemes are deceptively simple. Third, the auditor or accountant must have a thorough understanding of the company's business. Fourth, to uncover fraud, the accountant and auditor must seek it out. And finally, the failure to uncover fraud can have devastating consequences for the auditor and for the accounting profession. I'm Joseph Wells for the National Association of Certified Fraud Examiners. What are you going to do when you get out? Um, I'll tell you what I'm not going to do. Uh, I won't be an accountant. This is